to Centennial High School here in Gresham, Oregon. And some of the struggles that I had was I wasn't very involved. I went to school and I got good grades, but my parents never wanted me to stay after school because they didn't understand the concept of volunteering for free. I chose electrical engineering because I've always been good at math and science. And growing up, I would visit my parents' hometown where they were born and they would tell me stories about how when they were growing up, they didn't have electricity or running water. And I thought that maybe someone like me could one day make a difference. And my parents, I had told them, I'm going to college. I chose OSU, I applied and they accepted me. So I decided, dad, will you please take the day off and come with me to this event? And he said, okay, yes. It was so positive and like welcoming us, really happy. And OSU screamed everywhere, right? It was orange everywhere. And he was really excited and it kind of made it realistic for him that I was actually going. And there at that event, I met Marley, which is the LSAM coordinator. My name is Marley Perez and I am the program coordinator for the Lewis Stokes Alliance for Minority Participation, or LSAMP for short, here at Oregon State University. LSAMP is a grant program funded by the National Science Foundation and the goal is to really increase the number of baccalaureate degrees in STEM that are awarded to underrepresented minorities. After five years we hit 196 which is almost triple so um, the, the program is very focused on the number of degrees and enrollments going up. We are charged with doing that by providing a community for students, providing mentorship, undergraduate research opportunities, and then really trying to create a pipeline or a pathway into graduate or professional school programs. And mentors were set up in different rooms and there was a session where you just every 15 minutes change mentors. And I chose Yadi to be because I felt like she could really help me with electrical engineering being an engineer, female, minority. It, it really was the connection that LSAMP was trying to make. I have that kind of friendship and that kind of relationship that I can give her help and um, lead her in the right direction. That's why I came to get to know Sarai as a mentee. Our mentor families usually end up being about three to five students to each mentor. Um, the reason the family structure has worked so well for us is it continues on that idea of community building that we start in the bridge program. It allows students to feel really comfortable in a group talking with their mentor, but it also gives them the opportunity for one-on-one -on -one mentoring if they have more personal issues that they want to address. We learn about um, how to help them and how to be a good support system for them. The first year of their college careers, pretty much helping them to get to know the campus and smoothing the transition from high school to college. And uh, we go have lunch or we've been to Dutch Bros and just gotten something to drink and catch up every, every once in a while. I would definitely recommend it to others. Why? Because showing up to a new place where you know no one and there's thousands of other students, that's intimidating for anyone. And being able to know, well, I have a friend here, is really nice. I am Sarai Pelayo and I will be an OSU graduate.